Hi, welcome back friends. In the previous class, we have created this beautiful page which is coming inside this menu called home. Right now in this class, we will work for this menu called about. This will be having some different section. So first take a look how it looks like, then we will move further. Friends, in this class, I will be creating this beautiful page which is containing some image, text and progress bar at the very right side. So you can see we have three columns equally divided. One column, first column is containing this element, second column is containing image and text and third is containing this progress bar. Okay, so we need three columns equally divided to design this. For getting the column, we will use bootstrap predefined classes. So let's do. Coming back to the bracket, right? Now I'll be indenting all the elements here. So it's been indented beautifully. Okay. Now we have about page here or the ID. Inside this, I'll be working for the second element or the page, like about. Okay. So very first, I'm putting predefined class called container. Inside this, I'm putting row. It is also a predefined class from the bootstrap. Now I am putting gap class to put some gapping from the top. Okay. Now we need some columns. So here we need 12 columns equally divided. Why I am putting this 12 column with medium size here? Because we have to put the title there. Okay. And also I am giving a class which is not defined yet called title. Okay. Now I need heading tag like h1. So here I am putting the author name. Now another heading tag that is h2. This will be having some different text. Now after this closing div, I am gonna heading or I am gonna taking here another column. Okay. So we have created a container. This container is having row class. Row is having this column and we have occupied whole column here. Now we have to work for this part. Very first I am going to divide in 12 column with 3 different sizes. Different sizes. So very first I am putting a column, column with 4 medium size. Then I will be working for this 4 and this 4. So totally we have 12 columns. Okay. So right now I am going to having 12 column here. So just after this, I am putting here another column that is called MD4. Okay, inside this column MD4, I am putting a specific class called left about. Left dash about. This left dash about will be having all the text there. Now I am taking heading tag like H4. Okay. Now we need some text. So here I am putting p tag. p will be having the text. So I am just making a copy of it. Okay. Pasting there. Again we need another p tag for the rest one. So again I am putting p. And let's copy this text from here. Okay. Now after this p tag. What we will do. We will add some gapping. Okay, so here I am taking temporary line break by specifying BR tag. Now we need the button. Okay, so here I am putting anchor link. This will be having the class called button download. This is not defined yet. Okay, now I am putting I tag and this will be having the icon. Okay, so here I am putting I for icon. Actually, I is the tag. Inside this, I am putting a class called FA font awesome font awesome download this is the class which is existing in the font awesome library now i am putting here the button name like download cv friends you can see we have done this part here now we have to work for this middle part and right part okay so we will be doing it now So we have put the anchor link, anchor link after this, I am putting BR three more times to get some gapping there. You can even put margin top to get that.
Now we are gonna walk in for the another column. Okay, here. Here I am putting the rest or we have actually occupied four column. Now we have remained eight more. So again I'm gonna having four column now for the image. So here I am mentioning column D4. This will be having a specific class here called image. This image class will be having some width and height there in the style of CSS. Now I'm putting image source attribute inside this I'm calling my image folder. This is containing the image name called am dashportfolio1.jpg. Let's have a look. Yep, it's coming like this. Now we have to work for this progress bar which will be at the very right side now. Okay, so again we have remained four column now because we have already occupied eight column here. Four here and four here. So we have totally eight column now. Now we have remained four more. Okay, so again what we will do, I'll mention here call md4. This will be having the progress bar. So here I'm putting a dummy class or the custom class called skills inside this I'm putting h5 like a heading tag this will be having html and then any person mp for the marks and then I'm putting css inside this I'm putting a span tag this will be having the percentage like 90% okay you can put anything like that. Now after this heading tag I am putting div, this div will be having class called progress, progress, okay. Now I am putting div, giving a class name to this like progress bar. Role will be progress bar. I am doing inlining a style here, so here I am mentioning a style, kind of, it will be having some width like 90%, 90%. Okay. As you can see we are getting this progress bar right here. Okay. Now we will keep duplicating it multiple times and it will get done. So we have H5 and this div. So we need heading tag and progress div as well. So I am just copying it. Okay. Pasting below only will change its percentage value and the text. Okay, so here I'm mentioning WordPress, WordPress, and this will not be allowed here. Simply I'm mentioning 83%, 83%. Okay, and here I'm putting some values to this. Here I'm putting area value now. Value now we have 83%. So here I'm putting 83. Okay. And also I'm gonna putting some max value okay so here I'm putting area value max like 100 it will animate and go to the hundred percent okay if I show you you can see we are getting 90% 83% all the things right now we have to decrease its width which is 90 percent here so here i am putting 83 percent yep you can see we are getting some lesser width now we have to work for the rest one so again i am gonna duplicating it okay we'll changing we will change its text dream we were 86 percent here as well again we'll do the same work like we'll select and duplicate or copy or paste it mention here coding 66 percent and mentioning here 66 again Now after the illustrator we are gonna putting nothing okay because it's done. Now I'll be indenting it beautifully like this. 
so finally we have worked for the second page which is about page and we have worked through the html5 markup yet now we have to work for the css to make it like cool so without any further ado let's do for the css friends right now i'm gonna work you for its styling using css okay so let's do coming back to the bracket and we have about class okay right now i'm gonna work you for this text okay so let's do very first class we have title which is containing this heading okay so coming back to the style.css taking extra space mention your title this will be having some text align property like center so we'll get all the text center inside this we have another class not class we have heading tag like h1 this will be having some font size kind of 46 pixel and font weight 500 i'm using here and color like white and font family Oswald I'm gonna using right now yep you can see it has got centered okay and also this is centered now we have to work for this text so we have to know in which class this text available so we have h2 right now I'm targeting h2 with the parent class called title mentioning here title h2 and putting some background color to this like I am putting white and then pressing control E to select the color ok I am putting box shadow kind of RGBA and we have already put at the top and I have already discussed how you can achieve this type of drop shadow or the box shadow from the website called CSS box shadow I have shown you already ok now I am putting display to this like inline block and also I am gonna put in some padding to this like top to right will be 2 pixel and left to bottom will be 10 pixel color should be white then it will be visible there and also I am gonna using here some margin to this like top to right should be 7 pixel and rest will be 0 clear should be both so we will not get any floating there and also I am gonna using some font size kind of 18 pixel and putting font weight again like 400 margin bottom 50 pixel so finally we are getting here now we have to work for this part ok and also we will fix this image then I'll be going for this skills bar similarly we'll do all the things okay so i'm increasing its font size i'm making it 48 it's look cool okay now we have to work for the left part okay so you can see here on the index page we have a specific class called left about which is containing the heading tag and p tag as well very first i am putting heading tag like h4 ok so here i am putting h4 and inside this i am putting font size 25 pixel and again i am gonna using color like this to white and font weight 400 now i am putting letter spacing to this like 1 pixel and putting margin bottom to this like 15 pixel now let's have a look yep we have got the changes here now we have to work for the rest text which is p tag now putting font family to this like poppins and sensor if colored like white font size 16 pixel and you can even put font weight to this like 300 it's kind of uh, normal font weight or lighter font weight okay line height 28 pixels so we'll get some gapping there margin bottom 20 pixel and all looks cool let's have a look how it's coming there yep it's coming like this okay 
now we'll work for this button okay so it is available in the specific class on the index page called button download okay so just i'm calling it there putting here background like none color should be white border putting here four pixels solid four pixel is the thickness and the weight will be solid and the color like this I am again changing its color to this 19F58B. Okay. Font family right now putting here Poppins and Sans Serif. Now putting margin like margin top to right like 10 pixel and rest will be 0. Maximum width 230 pixel. Now I am putting here padding 10 pixel top to right. Left to bottom will be 19 pixel and transition should be all 0.3 second as a animation iteration count or duration okay so we have got here nicely but on the hobo we have to work for this button because this is changing its color coming back to the break hat on the download button i am using hover state hobo color will remain the same like white and now i'm gonna put in some box shadow to box shadow to this we have already added here box shadow let me copy it testing inside this wow so finally we have worked for this now we have to fix this image so this image is available inside the class called image this image class is having the image source so right now i'm calling image with a selector called IMG. Very first I am putting maximum width kind of 340 pixel and also I am gonna put in some border to this like 8 pixel its thickness weight should be solid and the color like white. I think we have to increase its size. Here I am putting maximum width not height actually. Okay now it has got shifted beautifully this time we have to work for this progress bar this is just no challenging it is just very easy coming back to the break hat i am right now on the index page not index i am on the style of css now we'll take a look in which class there is skills bar available so we have a specific class here called skills this is skills class is containing heading tag h5 then we have some spin tag available here so we'll be working for it right now okay here i'm mentioning a squeeze h5 font size 16 pixel font weight 400 letter spacing one pixel so we'll get some letter spacing there color should be white font family again the same like poppins now putting margin to this like 3 pixels 0 and 9 pixel and again I'm putting margin left to this like 35 pixel. Now inside this we have a span tag which is containing the percentage value. So here I'm putting a skills h5 span. Now putting float like right. Yep you can see all the things has got shifted okay next to next now we have to work for this progress bar okay so we have a class for this called progress so just mention here progress and inside this we'll put all the specific properties height should be 8 pixel okay now overflow should be hidden putting here background color like this margin bottom 35 pixel border radius to this like 0 pixel and margin left kind of 35 pixel yep so finally we are doing it nicely now we have to work for its background color it's not looking well okay so we have a specific class on the index page that is supposed to be progress bar so right now i'm just calling this progress bar deal to put some color in the background mentioning here float like left width should be zero 
height should be 100 percent and now i am putting background color to this yep so finally we have worked for this beautiful section called about it's looking cool it's looking as this one is i think we have to duplicate or we have to make one extra there that is photoshop okay so let's do here on the index page just after the wordpress gym viewer coding i'm just keep duplicating it one more time by pressing ctrl d only will change its name like photoshop photoshop yep so friends we have made it nicely i hope you enjoyed it isn't it now in the next class we are gonna working for some different section like these services so let's have a look how it's look like hi welcome back friends in this class i'm gonna creating some different section so first take a look what we have done yet we have created this beautiful menu called about which is containing this page right now we have to work for this menu called service here it is now let's have a look how this service menu containing the page so this service menu will be having this beautiful page which is containing some text at the very top and both sides we are getting some underline in between the text and also we are getting two row equally divided very first row is containing four items okay and second row is containing four items as well all the items are having the icon text dummy text okay so we'll be creating it for creating it we'll use bootstrap grid system okay so first row will be having 12 column and each column will be having the column of three medium size okay so let's do coming to the bracket okay now i'm in the id of services we have to work for this id or the page very first class i'm putting here called container inside this i'm putting a section giving a class to it like production section or sec now i'm putting row from the bootstrap inside this row i am putting 12 column for the text so here i'm mentioning call md12 and this column will be aligned at the center for the text so here i have used text center predefined class this is now i'm putting div giving a class to this like about heading okay inside this i'm putting h4 as a heading tag and this will be having the text new production this will be having the class as well so here i'm putting class called heading heading if i show you will get the text there you can see it is coming like this now we have to work for the row which are getting four items okay so we have two column available here you can see first column or the first row. actually we have two row available first row is containing this second is containing this now we are gonna working for this row which is having the column first column is this second is this third and fourth is this so totally we have 12 column available in the bootstrap grid system so here now after the new production i'm just going out to this row which is here taking extra space mentioning here another row and now i am putting column column with three medium size so here i am mentioning column d3 now we have one column created inside the very first row okay and also i am aligning the elements at the very center so here i am mentioning text center now i am putting dummy class or the custom class called production box this will be having the icon so very first i'm putting i tag for the icon this will be having class of the ion icons that is ion clock so we'll get clock icon there now we need the heading tag so here i'm mentioning h4 this will be having the class called production heading because we have to put the text so here i'm mentioning tv so now we need some dummy text so here i'm mentioning p and then 
class again called production friends you can put any class it's up to you but make sure to call the same class okay now i am putting dummy text so going to the older file we have dummy text available here simply make sure to copy it going back to the file pasting inside this now let's have a look yep you can see our first item has got ready here so similarly we will have to work for the rest three items in one row okay so let's do we have created one column like column d3 inside the very first row now we'll keep duplicating it three more times then we will be getting that four columns in one row so simply i'm selecting pressing ctrl d it's been duplicated now only we'll change its icon class name and the text okay now i'm working for the third one this will be having again the different icon name and the title name now we'll take a look how it's coming as you can see we are getting four column in one row all are having different icons and the text okay now we have to work for the second row which will be having the same four items every item will be coming in the separate column okay so let's do so what we'll do we'll remove all the extra space which we don't need here simply we'll duplicate the row okay so i am removing the extra space like this here as well okay so we have this row available right now now what we can do now we'll just copy whole row from here to here okay so i have copied whole row right now okay now i'm just pasting below only we'll change the icon and the text like this yep you can see we have got two rows and every row every row is containing four different items and the title now we'll have to change the icon name for the second row and the text or title name so let's do So friends, we have worked using HTML5 markup, ion icons, and some simple tags. Right now, we'll go to the style.css to design it nicely. Very first, we have to work for this text, titled text, which is containing the name called new production, okay? So we have to find in which class this text available. So we have parent class, there it is available, okay? So we have a class here about heading, okay? This is a parent class. Inside this, we have heading tag, which is containing class called heading. So very first, I'm gonna put in this about heading class with this class called heading to target this one. This text will be having some different font family and we'll put both sides to underline or the two line in between the text height, okay? So here, I'm taking extra space, very first class I'm calling here called about heading. Inside this we have heading tag like h4 that will be having the class called heading. Right now I'm putting font family to this like Oswald and sans serif. Now I'm putting font size to this like 52 pixel. Again I'm gonna put in display like inline block or just leaving it. Here I'm putting color like white margin top kind of 70 pixel in the minus margin bottom something like 30 pixel yep you can see it has got done nicely you can even increase its 
margin top value like you can shift here we'll do that definitely now we have to add two lines in in between the text first line is here and second is here for putting this we'll use pseudo property from the css so let's do here i'm mentioning about heading and then i'm putting heading like after this is after pseudo property okay now we'll do it here i'm putting content this place should be inline block now putting height kind of 6 pixel and width should be 80 pixel so we'll get some width there i'm putting background color first i'm putting white and then coming inside the text like this putting control e pressing control e and mentioning this color margin bottom should be 16 pixel and again margin left 20 pixel yep you can see it has got done now now we have to work for this so we'll use another pseudo property that is before so i'm just duplicating it one more time we'll change its pseudo property here i mentioned before and this will be having margin right and let's have a look yep friends finally we have achieved the very first title now we have to work for this one okay now i think we have to push this text little bit at the top here okay so we'll do here you can see i have put margin top minus 70 pixel now i'm making it 90 pixel 20 pixel i have increased in the minus value okay now we are gonna working for this elements like two rows we have there so we'll be working for it very first we have class called production box okay so what we will do we'll put this production box as a color like white okay so let's do coming to the shadow css and mentioning here production box color like white now we'll get all the color as a white yep I think we'll have to go through this one okay all the color will not be white only some text like uh, on the hover will get color like white okay now we'll work for the icon okay so icon is available here okay so what the code will, code will be code will be production i because this is the parent class inside this web child child elements available so putting here production box i now i am putting some font size margin bottom transition like that so here i am putting font size 65 pixel now i am putting margin bottom margin bottom kind of 8 pixel and transition value should be 0.65 or 5 second is yep you can see we have achieved it nicely okay now we have to work for this text we have to put something like text uppercase and we'll put some different color to this okay so this text like tv shows awards all the text which are available here are coming inside the class called production heading so right now i'm gonna working for the production heading class like h4 which is a heading tag I'm just copying it, coming to the style.css, putting here control V. Now putting text transform uppercase and again I'm gonna put in font family to this like Oswald. Wald and sense wave. Now I'm gonna put in margin bottom to this like 12 pixel transition value like 0.5 second is and color like this. yep it's looking kind of cool isn't it now we have to work for this text we have to make it something like different font family it's not looking well so we have a class specifically for this that's called production devs okay description actually so i'm just calling this class there we'll put some font family to this 
mentioning here font family like poppins poppins here i am putting font family i have put font family i have put i am putting here font weight kind of 300 and we'll see yep it's cool now we have to put some margin bottom to this heading title okay so we have margin bottom here now i'm putting 50 let's see yep we have got some gapping in between the title and this now i think we have to increase even more so i'm mentioning your 70 yes now it's looking something cool okay now we have to work for the whole world like when we'll put our mouse pointer over the text we'll get the color changed so coming to the file on the css okay we have production heading okay so just i'm calling this here and on this production heading i'm putting hover state okay like hover colored should be white and let's see yep you can see it is getting changes isn't it so finally we have worked for that okay i think we have to put some gapping there let's come to the index file and very first row is having four items second is second as well but after the first row i'm gonna put in some br tag for the temporary line break like this yeah it's looking something cool isn't it so friends in this class we have worked for this service menu now in the next class we'll work for this portfolio then client then contact i hope you enjoyed it a lot so stay tuned see you in the next till then keep practicing hi welcome back friends in this class we are gonna creating the page for the menu called portfolio previously we have worked for this service menu which is containing this beautiful page right now we have to work for this portfolio which will be having some different page so just take a look how that page look like friends the page for the portfolio menu will look like this this is called filterable gallery you can see very first we have the title available and very below to this title we have some menus available like all categories web design branding mockups photography and if i click on the web design you will see it's getting filtered so in this class i'm gonna working for this beautiful filterable gallery effect for creating this very first i'm gonna using html5 markup css3 and later on i'll be adding some jquery plugin to make it clickable like filter effect okay so enough talking now let's get started very first we'll work for this text like title then we'll put these menus then we'll work for these images all right now i'm on the index page and we have a section here with which contains portfolio id inside this we'll take all the things as we have done earlier like you can see here we have put the title and all the classes okay so right now what we'll do we'll do the similar work here i am mentioning class with a div called mh portfolio this mh portfolio class will be having some margin zero auto to align the things at the very center okay also i'm putting id called gallery now inside this i'm putting class from the bootstrap called container fluid inside this i'm taking four times line break you can even put margin bottom like but here i'm using just a temporary line break now i'm calling a class from the bootstrap called row inside this i'm putting some column like call mg8 8 column with medium size and also I am aligning the title at the very center. Here I am mentioning offset mg2. So what is offset mg2? Here I am taking two medium size offset. It will just push the title at the very right side at the center. Okay. 
Now I am aligning the things at the center. That's why I'm putting predefined class called text center from bootstrap. Now I'm putting undefined or defined class called heading about heading. We have defined it already in the style of CSS. Now I'm taking heading tag like H6. This will be having a class called heading. Now I'm putting my title portfolio. Let's have a look. You can see it's coming like this. Now we have to align it at the center. So what we will do, we have a class called MH portfolio, which is containing all the elements here. So similarly, we'll come back to the style.css and putting it. Here I'm putting margin like zero auto. It will get aligned beautifully. Yep. It's coming like this. You can even put here call md12. We are getting 12 column occupied beautifully. Yep. So it's get aligned beautifully. Right now we are gonna working for the different column which will be having some menus name. Right now we are gonna working for the menus. Okay, so we have a menu available like all categories, web design, branding, mockups, photography. So right now after the row ending which is here inside this row as well we can put the column so just after this i'm taking line break one time and mentioning here call with a medium size and we need 12 column okay inside this i'm putting undefined class called portfolio nav portfolio nav this will be having all the menus name okay here i'm putting id to this like filter button now coming inside this div taking evil friends whenever you will have to create the menus make sure to put evil lia then it will work perfectly fine now inside this evil i'm gonna having a li tag li will be having some data filter attribute and also i'm putting the menus name so here i'm mentioning a span tag this will be having the name of the menus called all categories okay now inside this li i am putting data attribute so this will be having data filter i am putting here universal selector to target all the images there so whenever any user click on this menu called all categories then all the images will be showing there that's why i am putting here universal selector to apply on the all images okay now i'm putting class called current so it will be activated by default now we'll keep duplicating it multiple times as much we needed. So just selecting pressing control D, it's been duplicated. Right now we'll just remove this class from here. Only we need data attribute that is called data filter. Inside this I'm gonna put in the class which will be having the separate image. Okay, so here I'm putting user interface. This user interface class I'll be creating in the div where different images will be available. Okay. Here I mentioned web design. As you can see two menus are created. Right now we need three more. So again I am selecting pressing control D. Changing its class name which will be getting the filter effect. Okay. Here I am putting mockup. Similarly we will work for the rest two menus so finally we have created all the menus here but it's not behaving like menus because we are not getting any hover effect like palm icon there or like clickable menus there. Okay, don't worry. We will work for the menus to align at the very center in one line, obviously. Now we will work for the images which are coming there. Okay, so this deep portfolio nav div is closing here. After this, we will take extra space to define the things. Okay. Now I'm putting a class here again called portfolio, portfolio. 
This will be having bootstrap class called row. Putting here a grid item. This class is not existing anywhere. Now I am putting class called col md4, four column with medium size. And also I am putting here the attribute which I have put here. So very first I am gonna calling this attribute which is coming inside the data filter that's user interface right now i am working for the user interface very first this will be having some different images okay so here i am mentioning user interface inside this i am putting a selector called figure now this will be having the image my image is available in the folder called image inside this we have an image called z1.jpg see it has got some size like 380 into 380 pixels okay now after this image source attribute i'm gonna having some different selector that's called fig caption inside this i'm putting my icon title and subtitle so here i'm taking i take this will be having the icon class name like fa font or some font or some search so we'll get font I font or some icon there as just search icon now i'm putting heading tag like h5 this will be having a class called title now putting a title to this like creative design now we need the subtitle so here i mentioned a span i'm putting a class to it called subtitle inside this i'm putting the text which i have to show there yep you can see our is image is just coming like this so similarly we'll keep duplicating it multiple times as much we needed okay now we will just keep duplicating this grid item multiple times only we will change the data attribute name like here i have put user interface after this i'm gonna putting different data filter attribute which is here like uh, mockup ui branding any kind of data filter which i have put at the top i can call here so similarly very first we will have to make a copy or duplicacy of this multiple times or you can even write this along okay here Here I am mentioning it. Okay. Now we'll change this user interface from here. We are putting here UI and mockup. It means UI will show its image and mockup will show its image together. When we'll click on the menu, like here we have branding or web design. Branding. When we'll click on the branding or mockups, we'll get different images filtering out there. Okay. This will be having some different image name like g2.png. It's coming like this. Okay. Now again, we'll select this part, pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it. Only I'm gonna changing its image and data attribute name, user interface. This will be having some different name like g8.png. now we'll call our another attribute like branding z3.png okay as you can see all are coming like this okay now we have to work for the rest so we'll just select this part putting here different data filter or data attribute class here changing the image name like g7.png or jpg okay all the images have got different image size now we'll see what we are getting now okay all the images are coming like this but our just navigation is not coming up okay right now we are gonna working for its styling like css okay so let's do this section is containing a specific class for the navigation menu that's called portfolio nav we have to work for this one first so i'm just calling it on the style.css here I am putting it margin like 0 out of 2 align it at the center margin bottom I am just putting here 
40 pixel from the bottom okay text align should be center and margin bottom i have already put here okay you can see we are getting here some but it's not visible now don't worry we'll make it visible inside this portfolio name class we have selected evil and ally after that we have a span text so although evil ally span i am calling one by one here i am putting evil ally this will be having display like inline block or flex so it will come in one line i am putting margin like 0 and 10 pixel from the left okay and also i'm gonna put in here cursor like pointer so we'll get palm icon there on the hover over the menu or the navigation menu i'll be changing its color like white font family right now putting oswald and sans serif now i'm putting text transform like uppercase okay still it's not showing up don't worry we'll bring it there now on the li i'm gonna put in hover hover effect okay you will ally hover i am mentioning a color kind of greenish like this okay and also i'm gonna work for the active state so here i am just duplicating it and on the hover i am gonna put in active class active okay color should be the same now inside the li we have different selector that's called as paint tag so right now i am calling there i'm just duplicating it one time more i am removing this active from here and after the li we have a paint tag inside there okay now we'll put some css3 properties here like padding i'm putting top to right like 15 pixel and rest will be zero border bottom should be 2 pixel its thickness its weight will be solid and the color like transparent now i am targeting the current class which is here which is active class again so i am calling it so what the code will be code will be dot portfolio nav evil ally dot current then we have a span tag to target the menu's name okay so coming to the style of css putting here portfolio nav this will be having evil ally inside the ally we have current class and then we have a span tag now putting border bottom two pixel its thickness and weight will be solid and color like something different this okay i am putting here okay the menus are not visible yet okay we'll work for the menus right now we have to work for the different class okay here we have the images available let's see here we have all the images available like image inside the image attribute so we have a selector here figure so right now i'm targeting this figure selector to put some position to this image so what the code will be code will be dot grid item this is a parent class inside this we have a lot more class available so right now i am calling print class with the selector called figure here i am mentioning grid item inside this we have a selector called figure right now this will be having some position so here i am mentioning position like relative overflow should be hidden and i am putting border radius to this like 10 pixel 10 pixel okay now we have to work for the image image is available inside the figure attribute so i am just calling emails here img inside this i am putting again the position like relative width should be 100 percent obviously and this place should be block okay coming to the index space and what we will do we will just remove whole figure for 
testing purpose okay i am removing it actually we have to remove whole images then it will be showing up there okay or oh, i am just clicking over it very next to this arrow button clicking like this and also like this and we'll see how it's showing up there so we have this div i'm just removing from here for a testing purpose yep you can see all the text has got working even our navigation menus are aligned beautifully okay so now we are bringing back all the removed elements okay so i'm just undoing it by pressing ctrl z okay i have just shown you like our menus which i have designed yet are working cool or not all are working fine perfectly fine coming to the style.css and we'll work for the rest element now i think we have to work for the javascript okay then we'll work for the hover effect right now i'm on the index page okay going to the google searching here iso top iso top 3.0.6 or 3.0.6 cdn link very first link we have jquery iso top library cdn js just click over it and we'll take a look which plugin we have to apply there to make the filter effect working so we have version available like 3.0.6 here now we have very first like isotope packaged dot min dot js just copying it coming back to the bracket just here i'm putting a script tag inside the script i'm specifying source and now i have pasted it very first i'm doing some scripting to the plugin so it will start working okay I'll be working for the very first document dot ready function method then we'll call the window and everything okay so let's do yep friends you can see it's coming like this and it is filter now it is filtering beautifully isn't it now we have to work for the css as you can see 
it's not aligning properly to one another because we are getting the text falling down so we are gonna working for this text okay and search icon we'll put on the hover effect like when we'll put our mouse point over the image we'll get all the text coming up with icon there so right now coming to the style.css and we'll work for the hover effect it's very easy simply we have to call its respective colors and there we can use all the things what we need to do okay so we have a first grid item this is containing a class called fig not class this is selector inside this
Hi, welcome back friends. In the previous class, we have created this beautiful portfolio page which is containing filterable gallery effect. See here, it's fully functional. Now in this class, I'm gonna creating some different section. Okay, now we'll work for this menu called client. Inside this, we'll get a specific section. So just take a look how it's look like. Then we'll move further. Friends, this menu called client will be having this page. See how beautiful it is. And it is carousel. See. And it is also touch enabled slider. So in this class, we are going to create this beautiful and amazing looking our client section. Okay. So let's do. Very first, we'll come to the break hat. Now we have a section called clients. Inside this, we'll take container and everything okay so very first we have to put the title so here i'm mentioning class called container inside this i'm putting row this time i'm taking 12 column same time now we have to align all the elements at the very center that's why i'm putting here text center from bootstrap inside this i'm taking div putting a class to it like about heading as we have done earlier like we will have to put the title and two lines both sides that's why i'm putting here same class called about heading now i'm taking heading tag like h6 with a class called heading inside this i'm putting our heading like our client let's have a look as you can see it is coming very center okay now we have to move further as you can see we have worked for this now we have to work for the edge images paragraph text name and this code again we'll take another row so my row is available here just after this i'm taking extra space and taking another row for the column so here i am putting row now putting a 12 column same time inside this i'm putting div which will be having an id called testimonial carousel this testimonial carousel i'll be calling in the style.css to target the image what i'll be putting right now inside this now also i'm putting some plugin class called testimonial all i'm using here all jquery plugin to make it touch enabled slider okay so let's put here testimonial all and then i'm putting all carousel Friends, the class, what I'm putting here like testimonial all and all carousel, these are the different classes which are existing in the library of all carousel. Now I'm putting another class called all theme. This will be having the indicators for the slider. This specific class called all dash theme will be having the indicators to slide. Now inside this, I'm taking a class called item. This item class will be having the icon like quotes, image, text. So let's put, I'm putting text center to align the things at the vertically center. Now I'm putting div, giving a class to it called icon, quotes. Friends, you can see we are getting this quotes. So for that, I'm using icon quotes. Inside this, I'm putting a font or some icon class name, definitely. Now we need some margin bottom like 4. Inside this, I am putting I for the icon and this will be having font awesome icon class name FA font awesome font awesome quote right. We'll go we'll get right quote there. After this class ending div, I'm gonna take another class called description. Description, okay. Now I'm taking p tag p4 para. And this will be having a class called paragraph. Now I'm putting dummy text inside this. So similarly we can make a copy of it, but it is not copied. Just here I'm coming, putting here lorem and 30 word. After putting lorem 30, I'm hitting the tab and we'll get this much text as a dummy. After this deep closing description tag, I am putting my image so i'm putting a class here called testimonial image img 
Now I am putting I am putting here margin top like four. Inside this I am putting image source attribute. Now I am locating my file. My file is available in the image folder and the name is testimonial image one dot png. If I show you. Actually, this time I am removing this class. We don't need now. As you can see, it is coming here. You know why it's not coming that time? Because I have linked at the top very first a class, not class, a plugin called all carousel dot main dot css. So we have to remove that. I am undoing it. Okay. I had put that just to testing purpose, and I forgot to remove that. You can see we have all carousel just removing it we will link later on to show you how we can implement it i have put here just to take a test how it's coming there i forgot to remove that okay it's okay now we have worked for the simple markup now we will have to work for the rest item and also we have to put its name like this image has got some name so after this i'm gonna put in some class called testimonial title this will be having the name now we need some margin top kind of 3 pixel and margin bottom 3 pixel now i am putting heading tag like h4 this will be having a class called text yellow here i am putting font weight normal you can even put in the css like font weight font size everything but for now i am doing inlining a styling and just calling a class from the bootstrap library font weight normal this will make the font weight there as a normal. Now I want to put the name as a text letter. That's why I'm putting here text uppercase. Now I'm putting its name. Sarah Jones. Now let's have a look. Yep. You can see we are getting the name, quotes, everything. Even the image is coming up. So finally we have worked for the very first item which is containing this icon called quote. We have text, image and the name now we'll work for the second item okay so we have a first item available here similarly we'll make a copy of this multiple times only we'll change its name image name everything okay so i'm clicking on this div like this and it will notify you where it is closing so it is closing like this so similarly i'm just making a copy of it okay and we'll keep duplicating it multiple times First, I am removing extra space which we don't need. Now here I am pasting the code what I have copied earlier. Now I am changing its name. Not name, we are putting different image name here. And also I am gonna putting its name, okay. Again, I am gonna put in third and then similarly we will work for the fourth. Here I am mentioning 3 and the name as well. Friends, it's up to you how much you item you need there. As you can see we are getting this much items now we will style it and also we are gonna working for its slider okay so right now we have to find its main class and we will style in the style.css step by step right now I'm gonna working for the image so we have a class called testimonial image this is containing the image source attribute coming back to the style.css here I am putting class name like testimonial img and inside this we have image source attribute so here i mentioning img again putting your height like 130 pixel 130 pixel width kind of 130 again now i'm putting border radius 50 percent and i'm gonna put in display like this inline block border should be its thickness will be 5 pixel its weight will be this and color like something different if i show you yep you can see its 
coming like this okay also i am aligning the image at the center to the element so we have a class here called testimonial you can see we have very first class that's called testimonial all inside this we have item okay or i am going to working for this course I'm just leaving it first I have to work for the JavaScript and linking the plugin necessary plugin so coming back to the Google here we have searched all carousel 2.3.4 CDN link very first we have this one click over it here we have all carousel.min.css just copying it and going at the very top there I'll be linking it just after this page animation.css I am putting link inside the hyper reference href I am putting it okay now I'm gonna working for its JavaScript okay so we have we have all casual.min.js just copying it okay and here going at the very below there I'm linking it I have already put it here just I am removing it from here and pasting inside this like all carousel.min.js now I will do some scripting here then it will start working beautifully so very first we have an id here let me show you we have an id called testimonial carousel so simply I am calling the to link in the js here I am putting dollar and then everything loop will be 2 margin should be 120 nav should be false dots this is actually a indicators for the slide autoplay should be 2 and responsive I am putting here responsive here I am putting on the 0 like this item should be 1 for the different sizes this is the breakpoint here I am using 600 that's the breakpoint you can see it's looking weird truly weird now we'll work for this coming to a style out CSS and there we'll take a look where we have made a mistake here I'm putting padding kind of 5 pixel now putting font size 24 pixel and transition i'm not gonna adding here i'm putting cursor like pointer and also you can add some font style to this but i think it's looking cool now i'm putting some line height to this like 1.3 so we'll get some line height 
margin should be zero auto so it will come by aligning at the center okay you can see it's look like this if you want to increase its font size then it's up to you totally right now we have to work for the paragraph we have paragraph here just copying it coming to the style.css taking extra space and mentioning here paragraph class paragraph mentioning here font weight kind of normal and also I'm gonna put in line height to this like 1.920 here I'm adding font family for pins and sans serif font size 18 pixel and color should be white okay it's looking kind of cool isn't it now we have to also work for this text the name text okay and we'll have a class here almost we have a class here called testimonial title so simply i'm copying it coming to the style.css putting here and changing its font family like oswald oswald and sans serif color like white or you can change it it's up to you totally okay it's looking cool isn't it now we have to put some gapping here after this title heading title actually so we can put here coming to the index page going at the very top here we have our we have our client just after this div i'm gonna adding b or tag multiple times to get some line break from there yep it's looking cool now we need to add indicators here like you can see in the older file we have the indicators to navigate that beautifully so we have the indicators for monial all this is the parent class inside this we have all lab in the boost in the library of all carousel now I'm gonna call in the button class called all next also I'm just copying it and duplicated okay here it should be priv means previous and now also I'm calling the indicators friends this is the parent class what I have called here this class called all nav button dot all dot um, button dot all dash next these are the classes like all carousel button dot all dot these are the classes for the indicators in the all carousel plugin i'm just showing you how it's working here i'm putting a height like 8 pixel width should be 8 pixel background i'm putting here background like white margin should be top to right like 10 pixel left to bottom will be 5 pixel and again i am putting border radius to this like 10 pixel you can see it's coming like this and it is working isn't it but we have to align it at the center definitely if i put here margin like zero auto zero auto okay i'm undoing it now we have to make the indicators as activated so here i'm putting parent class which which is existing on the index page like testimonial all then we have button all dot active this is for the active indicators this is the parent class this class called button dot all dash dot is existing there on the library itself called all carousel here I am putting background white inside this I am putting the color like this actually we have to change its color that indicator is already in white background that's why it's not like that yep you can see it's working like this now we have to fix we have to bring this item at the center here 
actually we have all dot class so this class i am calling to align it at the center so very first class called testimonial which is the parent class here i am putting testimonial all inside this i am putting all dash dots for the indicator to align the things at the center i am putting margin top kind of 40 pixels and this will be important because it will remove the privileges now i am putting text align kind of center text align like center yep friends finally we have done this beautifully i hope you enjoyed it now in the next class i'm gonna working for this contact section till now we have made this client portfolio services about home i hope you are enjoying isn't it so stay tuned see you in the next till then keep practicing